What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today we've got some more Black Ops 3 information to talk about. This in the form of a brand new character that we now know about involved with Black Ops 3. So Treyarch, the Twitter account, followed a new account which you can see right here. And Treyarch currently follow only 15 people who are strictly employees or the studios that make COD games like Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer, uh, the Call of Duty Twitter account, the eSports one. So only official stuff and their COD related accounts. So we know this Twitter is directly affiliated with Activision and Treyarch. And Treyarch was the first follower of this account and it's called the unmarked man it's currently just had one tweet that just says the incident changed everything very very vague and kind of cryptic it's strange how the incident has a capital i as if it's an official event more than just like a generally speaking incident but as if it's an actual event that happened because it's got that capitalized i which is kind of strange but let's take a look at the most important feature of this account which is probably the profile picture and banner which gives you the most information and i don't know about you guys but to me this is undoubtedly jason hudson which you can see right here character from black ops 1 and 2 and there's just no doubt in my mind that this is Jason Hudson. Now I know a lot of you guys will be thinking, and this is a spoiler if you haven't played the Black Ops 2 campaign yet for whatever reason, uh, but you're probably thinking that Hudson is dead and it cannot be him. And as you can see by his very gory gameplay right here, Menendez blasts both of his kneecaps off with a shotgun and then cuts his throat with that pendant necklace thing that he always does. And there's no comeback from that. It's a very gruesome death and he's definitely dead. And the mission where he dies was actually set in 1989. So there's no technology in that era where he'd be able to bring him back to life. And there's just no possibility that he's alive after that. However, I do think this is still Hudson in this unmarked man Twitter profile and I think you possibly interact with him in the Black Ops 3 stories at some point earlier in his life and uh, Hudson is a very mysterious man he's got a lot of backstory that we don't quite know about and uh, I think there's definitely a lot of interesting stories that we can learn by playing through earlier missions where you interact with him earlier before the events of Black Ops 1 and 2 and looking on the COD wiki page he left the military in 1955 to go study psychology and political science which sounds very similar to the whole Dr. Salim and messing with people's brains idea and uh, possibly there's a link between Hudson and and Dr. Sleem because the psychology definitely sticks out to me with uh, what's going on in these Black Ops 3 teasers and I think psychology is going to have a massive part to play in the Black Ops 3 storyline and planting like memories in people's brains, messing with people's heads and seeing their reactions is definitely a huge part to play and I think there's possibly some sort of link right there and I think there's also a lot of unaccounted years where Hudson could have been doing anything before the events of Black Ops 1 which was set in like the mid 60s and 70s and so on I think there's definitely a lot of unaccounted years that we don't know anything about what Hudson was up to and I think Black Ops 3 will feature some sort of missions where you meet Hudson before the events of Black Ops 1 or 2 and we see some things he up to before those games and uh, but like I said this is in my eyes 100% Hudson there's just no way he can be anywhere else that's just my thoughts anyway but maybe he looks different to you guys leave your comments down below whether you think this is Hudson or not or maybe if you think it's someone else uh, leave that down below in the comments I'll be interested to see what you guys think this image is and uh, it has the same kind of like just style as Hudson he's like got that same uh, squared off pose very intimidating the way his arms are by his side uh, I think the most telling feature is it's got the rolled up sleeves which you can always see Hudson wearing and when he was like around the Pentagon and just like doing his office stuff you would always see him in that white shirt with his rolled up sleeves and they're just identical how both of them have the rolled up sleeves I don't think there's any other character in the Black Ops games which you see kind of dressed like this is very kind of iconic for Hudson and that Hudson look and they both have that watch on their left wrist they're both bald so to me this is definitely Hudson but maybe that's just what I see of course leave your comments down below as well and there seems to be three panels behind him maybe that's a resemblance of the three bars of Black Ops 3 maybe that's a subtle hint right there but it looks like he's in front of some sort of projector like he's just showing you some kind of presentation with some classified information about a secret operation and the name unmarked man definitely suggests some kind of guy who's off the grid and maybe he's hidden his identity and he's kind of involved in some sort of conspiracies or cover-ups and there are definitely some kind of secret operations going on right there there's no hidden messages in the images like we've seen before and there's something else i noticed was that right after menendez killed hudson he says your life will be consumed by absolute loss which we remember from the black ops 3 teaser as one of the kind of highlighted quotes from past black ops games and that was of course in black Ops 2 and there's also in that teaser three quotes from Hudson so it seems like they're trying to point out that Hudson might be a big part to play in Black Ops 3 and again I think those flashbacks are very telling I think we're going to be going back to at some point where Hudson was alive of course and he's definitely without a doubt dead in the time that Black Ops 3 is set so I think it's going to be in some sort of flashbacks which would definitely make sense and if this account does tweet anything or we get any more info about Black Ops 3 in general of course I'll keep you guys up to date right here on my channel and on my Twitter of course as well we're only a week away from the official reveal trailer of Black Ops 3 that's going to be happening on the 26th and it's going to be a very, very big day. A lot of cool things are going to be unveiled. So I cannot wait for that day, of course. I'm making a ton of videos right here on my channel. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on those videos. Like the video if you enjoyed it, if you're hyped for Black Ops 3. And I will see you guys on the next one.